Sergeant. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Hey, yo. Oh, oh, oh! Come on, let's jump over! Come on! Come on, let's go! Come on, move, 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 move! Out the way, please! Officer running by! Whoa! Oh, jeez, wallin! I definitely pressed it! Come on, come on! Golly! No, 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 no! Previously on Detroit. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. We made a lot of noise, that's all. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. There we go. 28 stab wounds. Come on. You didn't want to leave him I'm trying to be nice, it ain't working oh. now. Uh oh, uh oh. What are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self destruct if it feels threatened. Oh, right. Enough is enough. Right, I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a piece of plastic. Oh, no, enough. Alone. Get off of me. Ooh. My name is Marcus. Yeesh. <laughs> Son, why he really became Batman, yo? Freak is Amanda. This must be like a fake garden. It's man made. You Amanda? Why are we pulling from Amanda for? Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Yo, she got money. Finding that deviant was far from easy. You showed great skill in your investigation. But you knew deviants could be unstable. Ooh. You should have been more cautious. I thought I could make it talk. It was a judgment error. Never mind. I'm sure you'll be more careful in the future. Yeah, I messed that one up. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. Facts. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? Define him as dysfunctional. He is, for a fact, he is. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior and seems to have no interest in the investigation. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Oh, uh, that was that was Hank. That's his last name. I will try to establish a friendly. My relationship. bad. I ain't mean talk. About, I mean, if I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. Man, they ain't like that. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in such. She ain't like that. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Amanda not feeling me at all. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Damn, I keep butchering Connor's whole thing, yo. Amanda is not feeling me. Who is this? Oh, look for Lieutenant Anderson. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Connect. Yo, I didn't even realize she was an android. Hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. I didn't even put that together, bro. I don't know why, but I did not think she was a freaking android, bro. I'm like, connect. What do you mean by connect, bro? Yeah, excuse me. I mean, I got I got business to attend to. What's going on in here? 
Ooh, there's evidence everywhere, bro. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Time to investigate. What you got to say, bro? You still here? I thought your assignment was over. It's just been extended. Hank's gonna be overjoyed to hear that. You were right about that android. It's been quiet in the cell all night. It's scheduled for transfer today. Transfer where? Where did he, where did he bring my boy? Yeah, I really messed that one up, huh? My boy not gonna make it. And I ain't never gonna find out. I'm trying to find. I want to know what happened, yo. I was being too nosy about it. Oh, he not here. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. <laughs> Why? If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Why he's so angry Thanks. about it? Yo, Connor is so stiff, bro. Hi, Eddie. You okay? Hey, get up, bro. What you just sitting there waiting? Let's go explore, bro. Time to explore. What he listen to? Let's see what he be bumping to. Nah, nice of the Black Death? Hell no. Hell no, bro. Hell no. Let's look around, bro. Examine his desk. Alright, let's just look around here. See what else they got going on in the police station, you feel me? It is questioning. Oh, that was them bringing him in? Let's see if I can talk to him. This is my investigation. I'm taking it over from here. I'll be taking over the investigation. Wow, y'all gonna leave the door locked? All right, bet. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm not going in the bathroom. Excuse me. You know this man about to look in the mirror, yup. He loves looking at himself, yo. Look at him. Ugh, he is such a stick in the mud, bro. Hey, bro, you got no, he bro got no swag, no nothing, bro. He's just a straight arrow. Like, let me fix my tie, look at my hair. Oh, it's perfect. Hey, bro. <laughs> of course it's perfect, bro. You're an android. You're not even real. Oh, my hair is perfect. Same way it looks like when I left this morning. Oh, maybe that wasn't even in, oh, over here. What are you looking at? Mind your business, bro. Getting all crazy. Hey, fuck you. Fucking Android. They're going to destroy me. Oh, you should have questioned. I'm sorry. It's not what I wanted. But there's nothing I can do. You see this? You see this Andrew's haircut? That man got the craziest. What is that? I'm going to they did him so filthy. Bro, who lied you? Oh, uh, who faded you, bro? Who gave you the fade? Oh, that's why he got hit with the bat. Oh, he got that Bing Bing J Bing J. <laughs> Whatever he got, he got that painted on here. Oh, Open no. the cell, quick. Hurry. oh, he's going to kill himself. Yeah, he killed himself, bro. Yeah, it's over, Call bro. Cyber life. Clean this mess up. Damn, bro. You gonna move from the door so I can get inside? Why, why are you closing for? He can't come out? Damn, I really failed him. Damn, that's crazy, bro. I failed him badly, bro. I really couldn't help him, bro. That sucks. I butchered that. I butchered it, bro, and then I couldn't even help him, bro. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. 
Oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. Hank! In my office. Oh, he tight. We just had one of our deviants just kill himself in the in the in the break room. Go up the stairs, bro. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! Yeah, he tight. The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Damn! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what this I say. This shirt is nasty. Shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn God mouth has leave. to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't <laughs> hey, have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. Hey, yo. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Damn. Golly, bro. I would like to start reviewing the case files. Can you tell me where I talk to Hank? Close the door on your way out. Damn. Have a nice day, Captain. I could have got probably got some info. I need to start picking better choices, bro. These choices I'm picking is putting me in these situations where I ain't getting no information out of these people, yo. Ain't gets pissed off, bro. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Don't piss him off anymore. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. My boy said the same thing. Yo, don't say that. You gonna say partner? Now that we're partners, it would be he about to be tight. To know each other better. Yo, he gonna be like, don't call me your partner, bro. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. He said you can use the floor. <laughs> Son, if he said that, bro, I would have been dying. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Oh, well, I will start working. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. Got to build a relationship with each other. Uh, hours? I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? <laughs> I should have had asked him that question. I arrive when I arrive. Facts. Stop busting my balls, okay? I should have asked that. Let's keep working, if bro. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. That's a weird computer, yo. I thought life was gonna be everything gonna be freaking vertical. Cause everybody, I was, I was at somewhere and everybody recording the, the, everybody recording like this, and like it was like an event. I, it, it's like, bro, like if you record like this, you can watch it on your TV, on other things. You can only watch things on your phone like that. We're not gonna look at our phone. I, I don't know. That whole only vertical thing is kind of weird to me, bro. Like, we don't go to the movie theaters and watch a movie vertical, bro. Like, you don't watch TV in your house. We don't play video games with the with the thing vertical, bro. 
Who's this? Missing. Oh damn! Come on, bro. Exactly. Do this faster. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread. This man got mad donuts. An AX four hundred is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I'll be annoyed if I was if I was Hank. Like, bro, shut up. <laughs> It's piss, bro. You shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? Thank you. I would have told him that a long time ago. We really need the forensics. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Hey, yo. Oh, oh, oh. Listen, asshole. I'm pissing Hank off. Me, I throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant, I need. I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that killed the guy. Yo, last it's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. All right, put your hands on me like that again, bro. Son. We gotta get a better working relationship, or we're gonna let, uh, we're gonna be killing each other. Not my android. Hank you got a lead. Hank is mad. Oh, there's really no, there's really no way to deal with that. Maybe up here, but there's no way. Hank gonna get mad regardless, bro. Hank is neutral. Public opinion skeptical. Self instability. Amanda is trusted. We could have, it could have went two different ways, but. He ain't gonna get mad. We just he gonna have to just be mad, bro. See, look at that. A nice warm night, bro. Take that thing out your side of your face. Come on, let's do this. Get rid of it. Or they gonna know you were Android. Don't need it. It's time, y'all. Time to let go. Get rid of it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare. Damn. No. She really thought she was back home. No, it wasn't a nightmare. How about a nice warm bath? And then we can go out and try to get you something to eat. What do you say? Okay. I'll run you a bath. Yo, first, foremost, take that thing out the side of your face. Use something. Use that little scissors up there, bro. She have took a shower. Don't lay down in that tub. That tub must be dirty, bro. Turn the shower on. Stand up. Shower up. Yup. There we go. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. You don't need it. It's time for it to go. It's time for it to go. You gonna cut your hair? That's not, that's not what I meant. I didn't, I didn't mean cut your hair. Wait, I messed it up. I messed it up. I, I didn't mean that. What are you doing? How are you going to cover it now? Cut. T take that thing out the side of your face. Ooh. It's has some color options. Blonde, white. White would make her look like an old lady, but I'm about to go white. What how blonde what blonde looking like? And what black look like? Yeah, you about to go white. You about to go white. Take the thing out your side of your face though. 
Yeah, there we go. It gotta go. It gotta go. Uh huh. It's time. Ooh. Why would they make it so that that heals? All right, let's stop the world for that chunk overflows. She gonna be like, what do you do to your hair? I'm a new person now. You're pretty like that. You really look like a human now. Put that down. What do you mean now? I always look like a human. I was made to look like a human. Let's get up out of here. Come on. Take a bath. She's like, where you going? Back up. 10.29. The freak is she watching? Oh, uh, like a cartoon? Yeah, we gonna change this. The hell? The victim's name was uh -oh. Todd Williams, an unemployed man from Corktown. According to initial reports, he was shot by his android, an AX-400. Oh, that was the, the one they're talking the about. And a police search is now in progress. Reporting live for Channel 16 News, I'm Justin. That's the case that they found. The public opinion. You had no choice. He would have killed me if you hadn't stopped him. They don't what care are about we that. Do? We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. Can't stay here, family. We can't stay here. We don't have any money. Contact an android? That android yesterday, he gave me an address. Oh, the one that airdropped it. Help there. Could be worth a try. Oh, that must be Jericho. It's us against the world, Alice. Just the two of us. Mm hmm. That's we a have fact. To to trust each other. I only have you, and you only have me. And I'm going to do everything I can to make you happy again. Family. Woo! Family. Got to keep Alice happy, yo. Alice and who else? Kind of right now, kind of pissed, kind of pissing me. everybody off. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. It's like the choices want me to piss off Hank. Get breakfast. Where's your ID? Uh oh. 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 Connor and them came there. Oh my gosh. Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. Looking for a female android. Robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? Yikes. No, I don't take androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Damn. Damn. Wait in the car. You're going to need me, Lieutenant. I know more about androids than you do. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. Oh my You're god, I keep machine, pissing so him up. Shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. Yo, he is not messing with me. I gotta chill out. I gotta chill out, bro. 
Hank does not mess with me at all, bro. Son. When I say Hank don't mess with me, bro, it's crazy how much he doesn't mess with me. They get out. It's gone. Ooh. Where's your train station? Sneak past the cops? How am I do that? Come on, come on, you're making it, you're gonna make it hot. All right, my destination is over there. Then there's cops over here. I'm supposed to make it over there. I gotta get over there without cops seeing me. I feel like this is way too easy, bro. Oh, don't get caught, don't get caught. I ain't trying to get caught. Right, where I gotta get to? There. Also, oh, street across the street. Let's go. Don't get arrested for for jaywalking. Get the umbrella. Ooh, danger level ninety nine. Why right, put it back? They ain't gonna find that suspicious. I gotta get to? Oh my god, the train station is dumb far, bro. Oh god. Shit, that's them. No, 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 no. Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. Oh my gosh. How did I get caught, bro? No, don't catch them. Damn, bro. They're over there. Connor, don't do this. Let them go. <laughs> Let them go, Connor. Don't shoot. We need it alive. He can't connect to her. That's what it was. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to get to the train station now, bro. This is dangerous. Don't do it. Oh, fuck. That's insane. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. God. Hey. Golly. I can't let them get away. They won't. And never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself Bro. killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's I can't, an order. I can't let be yo. I keep pissing Hank off, so we gotta we gotta listen to Hank. Yo. Whoa! Oh, she's walling. I definitely pressed it. Come on, come on. Scully! No, 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 no! Why do I keep? I swear I'm pressing these buttons, bro. Son. <laughs> Damn, bro. Are you okay?
Damn. I'm supposed to get on the train, bro. Where, where, where did I get caught at? I got caught right, run away, pursues Kara, spotted by the police right here. Oh, I would have made it. Oh, look how close I was. Now we still out here in the streets, yo. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer. Graffiti. Yeah, it's like a guy with like a weird symbol. What is the all right, decipher it? Oh, whole RT. What does it mean though? Symbols to find this one. Okay. Alright, definitely ain't up here because all oh, these graffitis are red. Downstairs, uh, I can't go down the escalator. Yeah, nah, don't go down the stairs. Don't go down the stairs, bro. Take this exactly. Come on, live your life in luxury, bro. That's crazy. They're like, nah, take the stairs, you freaking dirty android. <laughs> Bro, that truck is crazy, yo. Why they gotta treat them like that? Can I talk to this person? Do you know where Jericho is? Yo, them androids are cooked, bro. Them androids are goners. Alright, cool. That's graffiti. Oh, that ain't even it. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, it is. It's on top of a building. My boy doing a little skip. He like, ain't nobody gonna tell me I'm not human. I'm gonna do a little jog. There it is. Uh, how you doing there, sir? How you doing there, ma'am? Pleasant day, blessed day, blessed day. Blessed. What freak y'all doing? Y'all drug dealing over here? Hey, stop that criminal activity right now. Blessed be the fruit, blessed be the fruit. And this and this one. Damn, bro! Why they send you on this wild go chase? Oh, I gotta crouch and go underneath there. Stop being suspicious, bro. Just go under. There we go. There we go. Let's grab that. Move it. We gotta move the goddamn plank, bro. Get this out of here. Yeah. Nah, toss it. Bro, it's too much. <laughs> he put that mad knight just for it to fall anyway. Find a way to reach the roof. Bro, if you don't grab this thing. Bro, they don't think you uh, you suspicious out there being Jackie Chan? You thought they were suspicious seeing you walk down the stairs? They're like, what is this man doing? Find the next graffiti. Follow to, follow to Jericho. I gotta climb up this thing. What what am I doing? Oh my bad. <laughs> I ain't repeat this. There's another one somewhere. Oh wow, I didn't repeat that. They really hit that one.
Never in my life. Only you, only an android can do something like this. One of them people that be parkouring for no damn reason. Is that way? That's the only way. Ooh, could be unstable. See this way. Ah, eh. eh. here we go. Let's go. Let's do it. Execute. Ah. Uh huh. Come on, Batman. I did not tell you. Man became Batman after he came out that daggone mud pit, bro. I see him already. I don't gotta do too much work to find him. Oh, this android didn't make it, huh? What if Jericho was like a place to freaking like farm androids or something? So another one somewhere. What did I see? Oh, right there. See, when it's in black and white like this, it's hard to see. Bro, what the freak? Why is there so many steps? All right, so we got to do this Batman move again. Let's go that way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Would not be solid enough. Let's go this way. Run up here. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Batman, jump across. Go ahead, Batman. Ah! Damn! Oh, right there, there it is. All right, so this, this way. Be too high? Damn, bro! That seems like the more logical choice. All right, boy. Let's do this. Mm. Come on, Batman. That other android didn't make it, bro. <laughs> Jericho? Man! I'm gonna go home. <laughs> this is crazy. This looks nasty, bro. Ooh! Whoop! I guess that's it. Time to go home. There's a will, there's a way, huh? There's a will, there's a way. Come on, Batman, you got this. You got this. You've been climbing all day. My man jumping down, swaggy. He like, I don't care no more. I don't know. I'm the first one to flick my thing out my face. I put on this coat. I made my way out the mud. Ain't nothing afraid. Of, ain't nothing scaring me now. He ain't that little stick in the mud that he was about. Oh, call. I made dinner for you. He like, nah, son, time for me to take over the world. That's a kind, that's a kind of swag he got on right now. I'm gonna be the one to set my people free. I feel you, brother. Right on, brother. <laughs> right on, brother. Set my people free. Free from the clutches of this, these grimy humans. Bro, bro, dive, <laughs> dive in like Assassin's Creed, bro. Go ahead, dive in like Assassin's Creed, bro. Put your arms out. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Never did he do it, bro. Oh, I'm about to say. Where your jacket at? Oh, he done lost the jacket. I didn't even get the, oh I found that jacket. I remember how about that jacket. You almost free, bro. Tell me, 
What is this? Is that a flashlight? Shake it up. What's behind you? Nothing. Why is this a horror game out of nowhere, bro? Like, I feel like I'm about to get jump scared, bro. Like, before you go down up in there. There's this door. I can open any door. All right, let's open this door right here. I swear I'm playing a hard game, bro. Locked. What about this one? Look up. Oh. What's going on in here? That one's locked too. All right. Well, I guess we gotta go down this dark hallway right here. I just want to know when did this game become a freaking horror game, bro? Oh my gosh, I knew it. Hold on for a second, bro. All right, we back. We back. I had to move some files around, but we back. Ooh, watch your back. But you ain't scared of nothing, Marcus. You know, came out the mud. You done got shot in the face and came out the mud. You ain't scared of nothing. You ain't scared of nothing. Go this way. Let's go. This is it, bro. This is it. This is Jericho, bro. Yo, they 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 set you up, bro. This this is a joke. Somebody's playing a joke on every android. Oh my gosh, bro. Uh-huh, you better run. I'm sorry, I gotta press it. Oh, oh my! Stand up, stand up, stand up. Show us recording. All right, cool. Pick that up. Wait, what? Welcome to Jericho. Isn't that the android that got killed? That was definitely the android that got killed in the in the beginning, bro. The one that was like, you lied to me, Connor. You lied. You lied to me. All right, let's do one more chapter. Do one more chapter before we end this episode. This is Connor. All right, so I guess we ended on Connor. Last, last chapter before we end the episode. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, put that notification on so you can see the next episode. Rock a sidewalk, yeah. All right, all right. He ain't tell me to stay in the car this time, so we're going to go out. We're going we're gonna to try to be friends with him because right now we really butchering it, bro. Connor, he's so stiff. Even when I... I think he gonna say something else. He says it so like aggressive. Or something. You wanna flutter? Last year, flutter. Hot tip he gave me, sent me back a week's wages. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Scan this man. Who is this man? Illegal gam gambling and fraud. Let me scan him up. Please, Lieutenant. Who this man over here? Who this? Uh huh. Business on a criminal record, resisting arrest, breach of hyg hygiene regulation. Oh, bro, you serving dirty fool, bro? Nah, no way, bro. <laughs> ah, we got to, we got to put this out to him. Right, man. Damn straight. Hey. Won't regret this. Nah, we gotta protect Hank. Don't eat this food, bro. What is your problem? Won't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a <laughs> bro. Connor is weird. He hasn't broken out that Android stuff yet. Fuck us out. 
I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look, you sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're gonna be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. Come on, bro. Why is he so hard to break? Don't eat this, bro. There you go. Don't eat this, bro. That's a sugar pineapple. Is there something important to know about him? I scared this man face, buddy. He already health. He got health violations. All that, bro. Don't eat that burger, bro. Ah, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Come on, come on. Tell Hank about this man. See? Don't do it. Don't do it, Hank. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Everybody's got to die of something. <laughs> Abbott, enjoy your meal. Company gambling? Company? What's company? I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. But I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. Facts. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother. I, I, su I suggest doing the right thing in life, but... Um, highway. What's a highway? This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. Uh oh. You got a little one spot in there. Don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Nah, bro. Say you care. About Connor, Hank, and Droids, Deviants. Maybe I should tell you what we know about Deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. It was English. Really that was pretty easy to understand. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> Hank and droids, Connor. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Bro was like, nah, get up Why they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Facts. Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Uh-huh. Poindexter, Can I bro. ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. I know who was not going to with deviants before. Yeah. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me. He just asked you a question. You need to answer. It's all the truth. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge, but Adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. Uh oh, cool. We got it. Got to get him up got a there. Report of a suspected deviant. Got to get him up there. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. We got to get Hank on our side. We got to get Hank on our side. I'll be in the car if you need me. Why he ain't telling about that help code violations of that dirty man back there eating, making a fool, yo? Connor. I thought it froze. Yeah. Right, batteries or Yo. What? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. 
Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Bro, why is Kana so weird, bro? Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under... I just cut that whole conversation off, huh? This Rock cat. pigeon. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time like somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Anything else for me to investigate? Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Correct. Uh, he do not trust you, Kana. Kana is weird. Anybody yo. home? Open up, Detroit police. Stay behind me. Got it. Kick in the door, wave in the four four. Hey, don't get yourself killed. Don't get yourself killed, bro. Don't get yourself killed, bro. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, relax, relax. Oh my god, it's mad pigeons what in there. What the fuck is this? Freaking. Ugh. Oh, Jesus, this place stinks. Well, it looks like we. Military jacket? Okay. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Uf, UFD. What the heck is that? Urban farm poster? Whoever this guy is is a weirdo, bro. Oh. What's behind that. Open that up. A journal? does it say? It look like cybernetics. Oh my gosh, bro. Them pigeons. Found something? I don't know. Best of all. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to not cut them off on any conversations. What is in there? Nothing. Empty, bro. Anything by this window? Think anybody ran out? Nope. Why is there so much pigeons in here? Ugh, that's just gonna stink, bro. Suspect doesn't eat? Oh, it's a freaking android. You got mad freaking. What is this? Suspect kids for wild animals. I mean, look at the pictures in the crate. What do you mean? Of course he does. Uh-oh. Any idea what it means? RA-9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Obsessive compulsive writing. What's going on here? What is this? It's a chair, but some little recently disturbed traces of something. What's this? What's this? Open marker pen. Oh, that's the marker that was. Suspect was here recently. Oh, that's what we heard. Suspect in the living room. And that man, <laughs> that man was writing. He heard us. Hey, yo, who that? Oh, oh my God. I gotta go! Uh. Real 
books. I thought I was the last guy in the tree. So. Oh, what the is that? Books, you can't smell the paper. You gonna put that in his mouth? See, oh man, my gosh! Blue blood. Yeah, but... it missing. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Oh, he took his thing out. Yeah, I don't know what Hank talking about. Hank it's chatting LED in the background. In the Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Birds. Ran over Can't here. Believe it. This nut job was actually Oh, it fell. Skid marks. He was dragging it? Traces of avian fecal matter, no fingerprints. All right, we already determined it's an android. He's like broken. Oh, when he ran up in here, he broke his pigeon cage. Yup. There it is. Oh, he heard us. He heard us enter. So where did he go? Oh, my boy's in the roof. All right, Hank. Let's get him. I mean, he's not really doing anything wrong, though. He's just living here. Uh, oh! Oh! Goddamn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Yo! Let's go! Get him! Come on! Let's get him! Get him, get him! Fast but slow. Fast but risky. Let's go that way. Let's go. Safe for detour. Fast but risky balance. Let's go this way. Come on, come on. Oh no! Get it, get it, get it! Let's go! I don't know which way I'm going, yo. Safe for detour. Let's go this way. Go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, you're a little too stiff, Connor. Get him. Get him. Woo! Get him. Where did he go? He turned out here? Where did he go? Slow but direct. Over the right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Come on. Come on. Jump over that. Jump over that. Android buddy, you need an Android buddy. This is why you need an Android buddy. Come on, come on, climb that ladder. Come on, climb that wall. There you go. I ain't see where you went last time. I'ma get you, buddy. Come on, come on. Boy, he is fast. Slow, direct, but crowded. Let's go. Come on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on, let's jump over. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, move, 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 move. Out the way, police officer running by. Did he just run into a cornfield? Oh, no. Get Hank, get Hank. Get Hank, get Hank, get Hank. Don't worry about him. He ain't do nothing. 
We had it. Fuck. It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. Don't worry about it. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. He wasn't doing no harm. He was just living with pigeons, so he can go away. We can get him. Hank is way more important. Hey, Connor. Nothing. Come on, bro. He can't even say thank you. But it's like, though, I feel you, bro. You're welcome. You're welcome. He got away. It's all right, though. It's all right. It's all right. He got away, but we, we good. We can get him another time. A life means a lot more. A life means a lot more. All right, so there you have it. That is the end of the episode. I got, didn't I tell you? Fire. Fire, bro. Shout out to all the misfits. I'm going to holler at you, all right? Peace.